Proclamation, two years after that was signed by Lincoln, that the news reached slaves in Galveston, Texas. Slavery has not ended. There are still five states which allow incarcerated people to work for no compensation. <clears throat> Isabel Wilkerson said, no current day adult will be alive in the year in which African Americans, as a group, will have been free for as long as they have been enslaved. That will not come till 2111. We have our work to do, and Jesus comes not just to calm us, but to be the calm, to show us a trust in God so deep, not that God can fix things, but that God is present. As one commentator said, we tend to thank God when things are going well. Everything happens for a reason. It's God's plan. What Jesus shows us that in the midst of things not going well, when there are storms and tumults and whirlwinds and our boats are being swamped, God comes as the calm. God in the midst of us. <coughs> in our strife and struggle. Let us celebrate the good things. And let us all look around right now. I mean it, look around, I know we're visible. But take a moment to look around and notice that our calm does not just come from inside us. Jesus calls two or three to be together. And we are fortunate that we can do that now in person and virtually. The disciples, at the end of this gospel lesson, look around once again and say, Who then is this? Jesus had no birthright, which was very important in this culture, to the authority he proclaimed. And I think we still wonder, who then is this? And we are called back to our baptismal covenant. Will all of you present do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. We will. We will not just at our baptism moment, but throughout our journeys, throughout changes in our world, in our personal lives, in our church life. We will do all in our power to support each other in our life in Christ. Amen.